So this is one of the episodes of the show. It's coming towards the final scene. And the setting is a construction site. And there is a large hole in the middle of the site, which is about three or four meters. So far too deep for any human to physically climb out of. They would need a ladder or a rope. And the two bad guys have, for various plot reasons, found themselves, found themselves both at the bottom of this hole, and the pretender guy, the main character, the good guy that we're supposed to root for, is standing up the top at the ledge of the hole, and he is holding a hose of... He's holding a hose of wet cement and he is he placing the hose right next to the ledge so that wet cement is gently, slowly, but continuously pouring into the hole and before long the entire floor of that hole is no longer brown from dirt but actually grey from the cement and so he's basically trying to drown the two bad guys in cement and to and he uh, threatens them he's saying You're, you two are going to disappear and out of panic they both confess to the crimes that they'd committed and it turns out that the pretender had a tape recorder behind his back and so he recorded the moment when they both confessed to their crimes so now he's got the evidence he needs to convict them but instead of going through with his threat instead of calling off his threat now that he's gotten what he wants, he says, you're still going to disappear. And then he walks off. So, the hose is still pumping wet cement into the hole. He's walked away, and the two bad guys have nothing left to do now but drown in wet cement, and then when it Then when it dries, their bodies will be encased in the cement and they'll be gone forever. And so the pretender is carrying out exactly what he threatened. He's going to make those two disappear. And you get to see the look on those two bad guys' faces when they realise that there's nothing left for them now, that they can't escape from this, there's nothing they can do, that they're going to die eventually, it's going to be a very slow and probably painful death, and there's no one coming to rescue them. And it's been more 20 years since I saw that scene, and it's still stuck with me that look on someone's face when they know they're going to die and there's nothing they can do about it and they're trying to just rationally grasp that fact and come to grips with it and make sense of it And at this point in time, I'm not certain exactly 
what to make of this from a psychological point of view exactly exactly what I meant to like what this is supposed to tell us about the human experience or the human nature or how humans work why why is it that it's not death that's so powerful but it's that moment of rational understanding of death that's so powerful the fact that we are able to just deal with the fact that every day tens of thousands of innocent people die through just irrational chaos of the world and we don't care and yet when we see that individual look into their eyes as they realize that there's nothing they can do now that they're going to die and it just emotionally sticks with you what is it about being rationally aware that you're about to die that makes it far worse far more emotionally impactful than just simply dying and your last thoughts are being rationally unaware of what is about to happen.